Alrighty, so today I'm going to be testing out H-I-M-I -I or Himi. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's jelly gouache. Um, I assume that the jelly part is uh, based on the fact that it's kind of more sticky than most gouache. I don't think it's going to be gelatinous or like jello at all. <laughs> um, most gouache I use, I use two different kinds of gouache usually. So um, this is whole bean acrylic gouache and it's pretty similar to acrylic paint. Um, some people say even more so than uh, it is similar to gouache, but I don't know. I think people are just being weird. <laughs> Um, there's some snobbiness in the gouache, in the gouache field, I guess. Um, here's another brand that I use, um, Windsor & Newton gouache. This one seems to react. I haven't used a lot of brands, but this seems to act more like what I would expect from gouache, which is when you put it out on the palette, uh, you know, it's, it's liquidy but then it dries and then kind of like watercolor, you can spray it to activate it again is what they call it. That I guess that doesn't need air quotes because that's what they call it. <laughs> um, you activate it by spraying it and you can basically reuse it. Um, acrylic gouache dries out and you cannot reactivate it. So it kind of acts more like acrylic paint in that sense. Um, kind of like plastic. Um, both are great brands, I really like both. Um, but they both come in a tube and they're not nearly as fun as what this one looked like uh, that I'm going to show you today. So, okay. Kind of nice, like matte, smooth cover. I'm really into that. I guess I'll just put that somewhere else. Oh, and it even, the lid acts as a little palette. I might use that actually, just for fun. And I don't want to clean my watercolor palette. I only have one palette, um, and it's like a tin one. I use it for watercolor, and I don't like to mix watercolor and wash. Usually I'll just use like a a ceramic plate, but I'm that's cool that they give you a little plastic thing. Okay, so these are gonna be a pain in the ass, I can already see it. Um, wow. So I have to open each individual package, okay. Okay, so, wow, they actually gave you a lot of paint. Um, they give you two bricks of white paint, which is incredible, and I love that because, you know, we put white to lighten up any color in here and you end up using a lot of it. Wow, this is very satisfying. I don't know what the term jelly means, but it somehow describes this pretty well. So. I decided today, I did a pre-sketch kind of thing um, so that I wouldn't have to waste everyone's time watching me draw it and I taped it down. Um, this is a, um, I'll include a photo reference, but this is from a picture that I took in Japan. I um, hope everyone can see that, I might zoom in a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, it was in an alleyway in, oh, I forget the neighborhood, but uh, it's from my recent fall, I guess it's been like six months now, over six months, uh, trip to Japan, and um, it was very fun. We were getting breakfast, and that is where we were going. I forget what the place was called. It's so sad that I'm forgetting so many things, and it wasn't even that long ago. Okay, so I usually start out drawing with, uh, this is a 4B Progresso graphite stick. It's basically like a woodless pencil, really soft lead, so that it doesn't dig too much into my paper. Um, and then I roll up my kneaded eraser just to pick up some of that graphite because once, oh, an airplane. Um, wow. Once the paint kind of interacts with the graphite, it's kind of, it gets kind of muddy if there's too much. Um, there's a hair in my tape, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it's like when they find 
like don't they find like Vince if I go like uh, stuck some like grasshoppers into his paintings or something I don't know I'm not him <laughs> thank god okay I got my tea got my gouache this is beautiful it really looks like acrylic paint honestly which I don't really like acrylic paint to work with I prefer oil or gouache um, oil paint dries a lot slower and just feels amazing but I just don't like the toxic uh, toxicity levels and you know you have to prep a canvas and everything's generally speaking um, and acrylic just looks so dry to me I don't know it's very similar to gouache but for some reason I like working with gouache better than acrylic I I don't know why um, let me get more brushes Okay, so first I'm gonna lay down, I think, this uh, gray part. Ooh, oh God, I'm scared to touch it. I'm scared to ruin how beautiful it is. My only worry with this is that I'm worried um, it's gonna get messy really fast because you're like re-dipping paint and I'm not one of those people that remembers to clean their brush before they dip into more paint and it kind of just, I'm gonna try to do it. Wow, I don't even know, usually I mix I don't know what that cat is getting into but it sounds sinister wow okay it's very thick this is just like acrylic paint I'm so scared to get white because look at my brush it's gonna be ruined let's see I don't even know what this color is it looks like usually if you see a color you don't know what it is um, just try adding white to it sometimes and you'll be like, oh, that's, yeah, that's like a phthalo bright blue. Okay. And what is this? Well, that's just a black. Oh, okay, duh. I don't usually use black paint, but maybe I will just to speed things up a little bit. This is an interesting palette. I think my current palette I with watercolor I use like an aluminum one and it kind of has the same weird resisting reaction um, as this does right now I'm just gonna mix all of these because it's a very gray muddy color it doesn't matter uh, to me personally a little brown what color um, goes into it because with something so neutral something gray it's made up of a lot of uh, different colors really Oh man, oh see, oh. I knew I was gonna do that and I did it anyway. And with gouache, gouache usually draws, we'll see if this brand's the same, gouache usually dries a little darker than it appears, so I'm actually gonna add a little bit more white. Hope you guys can see my palette. Oh, okay, cool. So, I didn't mix that much paint, I'm probably gonna regret that, but I'm just gonna go in just to get some paint on on here. I chose this picture because first of all I'm trying to get better at uh, perspective and uh, understanding angles and you know environmental scenes where like it's not just like a close-up of a flower that I don't need to necessarily worry about angles. I've never been a math person ask you know most artists aren't not to generalize, but um, never been huge on math. Uh, get kind of lazy when straight edges are involved because um, I just know that I won't do a very good job and then I just, you know, kind of bullshit it. Pardon my French. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm trying to get better at it just so that I can not be held back so much. I think I'm gonna eventually do like a Patreon video or some sort of challenge -y thing where I paint a lot of stuff or draw a lot of stuff that I am not usually comfortable with. Like, wow, okay, first of all, this is pretty high quality gouache, I gotta say. Um, okay, back to what I was talking about. <laughs> this is great. Um, 
uh, yeah, I want to do like a sort of challenge to myself to, um, we're still under quarantine here in Washington state in, uh, it is May 8th, 2020. So we're still like shelter in place, not supposed to leave. Um, so I figured now's a good time to like do something I'm not comfortable with. Like I'm, I'm not usually good at because I have time to screw up. I have time to make mistakes. I mean, I always do, but you know, now more than ever, I just feel like I should be using my time to better myself. Um, and that includes taking risks with art that I wouldn't maybe necessarily take. Um, so I thought I would do like a series on like uh, painting things that I'm not usually good at or I don't usually paint um, bec usually because I'm bad at it whenever I don't paint something it's because I'm not very good at it because we all want to just do stuff that makes us feel good about ourselves we don't want to always step out of the box wow this is very good paint I'm floored honestly um, it's really opaque which is what I look for with gouache number one I've used some cheap gouache sets and it's just like it's so thin you can see through everything uh, that you put down and it takes like multiple layers and you end up wasting a lot of paint um, wow this is really really cool This kind of smells like tempera paint. This smells like paint that I used in kindergarten to paint posters. I wonder if I should go back and use those and see if they work just as well. <laughs> Cause like, I mean, I don't think about using weird poster paint for stuff like this anymore, but like, I wonder if it would have the same quality. My guess is it wouldn't, but this just reminds me so much of like, being in preschool and, you know, painting posters, whatever, like my handprints, you know what I mean? Like that's what this smells like. I wish I could have some sort of immersive like scratch and sniff on Patreon. <laughs>
So there you have it. Um, overall, I would give these paints uh, like a five out of five, honestly. Like I would highly recommend them to anyone trying to learn gouache. They're really easy to use. They're fun. They're so satisfying to just pick up and put down. It would be, there's so much paint in each cube that I want to do like a, a huge painting and gouache now just so that I can really dip my brush in there. It's, it's so satisfying. Um, here, let me pull the paint off as I, or the tape off as I talk. One of the most satisfying parts. Um, yeah, I, I'll put the link down uh, in this, in this post on like where you can buy these paints if you want to buy them and try them. I, I do recommend them. Um, as I've said, and I'm super excited to have a ton of paint, honestly. Uh, squeezing gouache out of the tube all the time can be, oh no, really um, monotonous. So I'm, I'm excited to have a lot of paint just out there. Wow, I kind of messed up the tape, but you can barely tell. Ta-da! It looks a little different than the photo, but I want that. Um, yeah, actually I guess here's a better angle. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'm really happy with the gouache. I'm really happy with how it came out. That was a fun piece. So uh, thanks for being a patron. Thanks for sticking around for this video. Um, and I hope to do another one soon. Bye.